Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to make an involute of hexagon. Let's see the question. One end of inelastic thread attached to one corner of hexagonal disc of edge 25 mm. Trace the curve by other end of the thread when it is completely wound on the disc with proper tightening. It means we have a hexagonal disc and around the hexagonal disc we have an inelastic thread. So we are going to trace the curve by the thread. So first of all let's make the hexagon. To make the hexagon first of all make a circle of 25 mm radius. Then make a diameter line. Open your compass equivalent to the radius of the circle and mark a arc over here. In the same way mark a arc over here and put your compass on this point and mark a arc over here and mark a arc over here with radius 25 mm which is the radius of the circle. Now just join this arcs like this. So in this way, hexagon of 25 mm edge has been completed. You can give the namings to each and every point. Make a line of any distance and divide this line into six equal parts. And how to divide that six equal parts? We will take the distance of six to one, which is 25 in this case, and mark a point over here. From six to one, it is 25 mm. Then from one to two, which is again 25 mm. This is again a 25 mm. So both are same. In the same way, we will divide this line into six equal parts. All equal divisions are of 25 mm. Basically, I develop the hexagon over here and give the last point name as P point. So we are going to trace that this P point on the hexagon now. Now extend six to one line up to any distance. In the same way, one to two line and 2 to 3 line, 3 to 4 line and 4 to 5. Then take the compass, open your compass and measure the 1 to P line and come over here, mark a point over here and give this point name as P1. In the same way, take your compass again and mark the distance from 2 to P and come to this 2 point and mark a point over here which is P2. Again take your compass and mark the distance from 3 to P and come to this point and mark this point over here which is P3. In the same way with the help of compass again mark the distance from 4 to P and come on this 4 point and mark over here which is P4 point. In a similar manner with the help of compass mark 5 to P and come to this 5 point and mark over here which is P5 point. Now again with the help of compass put your compass at point 6 and open your compass up to 6 to P and mark an arc over here like this. Again put your compass at 1 and open your compass to 1 to P1 and mark an arc over here like this. Now put your compass at point 2 and open your compass up to P2 and mark an arc over here. In the similar manner Put your compass at point 3, mark your distance from 3 to P3 and mark an arc over here up to point P4. In the similar manner, put your compass at 4, mark the distance of 4 to P4 and make an arc like this. And last, mark a distance of 5 to P5 and mark an arc over here. In this way, you can make the involute of your hexagon. So students, I hope you understand this question. If you still have any query, you can comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Be happy.